This video is a basic introduction to applying MSA varnish onto a smooth acrylic surface. Previous golden videos about the brush application of an isolation coat and proper thinning of the MSA varnish are worth reviewing if you haven't done so already. The scale of what you are varnishing determines the kind of brush you'll need. For this demonstration, we'll use a 3.5 inch synthetic bristle brush readily found at most hardware stores and home centers. The requirements for a good varnish brush are bristles with a good springy memory, a brush shape that is wide, flat, and thin, and larger brushes should have flagged or split bristles. Other brushes may be used, such as an artist varnishing brush, but they may require additional thinning and are better suited for smaller works. We pour the previously thinned MSA varnish mat into a shallow tray because it provides more control than just dipping the brush into a mixing jar. Notice only about a third of the brush is loaded with varnish. This provides additional control during brushing. Although this test painting is fairly small, we want to initially focus on getting the varnish onto the surface and not how evenly it's being applied. By continuously loading up the brush with varnish and applying it into various areas of the painting, we make it easier to smooth out later on. Now that there is enough varnish to cover the entire painting, we can begin spreading it further using long, deliberate strokes. MSA varnish dries slowly, allowing us to slow down and focus on getting a nice uniform finish. After brushing out the center area first, the brush should have enough varnish to coat the edges. This technique, of starting at the edge and brushing inward reduces the chance of product flowing over the edge of the surface. This also helps to adjust the amount of product in the central area if a bit too much varnish was applied. While we continue covering the edges, let's talk about the importance of good studio lighting. Always varnish with lighting that allows you to easily see the product being applied. Good lighting and a proper viewing angle increases the chance of a uniform application and also helps to spot loose brush hairs or whatever else finds its way into your varnish. As the edges are coated, we can finally focus on unifying the entire layer of varnish. Using minimal pressure on the brush, brush from one end to the other, slightly lifting as we approach the edge. At this stage, the brush barely touches the surface. Pressing any harder can result in brush strokes remaining in the dried varnish film. If you notice a lot of brush drag, it may indicate that the varnish is either too thick or the brush is too soft. When varnishing, the idea is to get the product on at a uniform thickness and allow plenty of time for the brush strokes and bubbles to dissipate from the film. Here is a close-up of the freshly applied MSA varnish. Notice how it appears somewhat irregular and there are a lot of bubbles. Fortunately, MSA varnish has excellent leveling and upon drying should develop into a uniform finish. 